Well, at least I didn't get locked up this time. Yeah, that's usually a good thing. Oh, it's letting me uh, change the jukebox again. Uh, no. <laughs> I took so long to set this up. Oh, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm good. I think this is good. Okay, back in action. Good evening. Uh, it's a robot. Uh, cool. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, s sorry. It's comfortable. I usually keep it on. I, uh, actually skipped that. Anyway, is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Mester Specialist, Sai P. Asagiri, of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps, at your service. Oh, wait, that's uh, too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Uh, let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cold drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one. That's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's just look at sweet drinks. Uh, sweet, light, and fruity. As girly as it gets. Well, that already sucks to me. <laughs> they used to actually sparkle, but too many compliments about skin problem made them redesign the drink without sparkling. Okay, sweet, girly, happy. Small, sweet, and icy. I want ice in there, though. Um, that doesn't have ice either. Aged and mixed. On the rocks, that is ice. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you see on the moon for one week every month. What the hell? Hadron Cannon? Okay. Uh, moon Blast. That sounds pretty good. Uh, sweet. Probably small. Um, well, six, seven, eight, seven, ten ingredients in there. That's not that small. Uh, aged and mixed. That's definitely not small. Alright, so we're gonna try Moon Blast. Six. A powdered Delta. One of those. And two of these. On the rocks. Not aged. And. Start mixing it up. I must have done that too early. Oh, blended. I didn't read that properly. Okay, so I imagine... Whoop. Let me uh, put ice cubes in there, physically take them out with my hands, and then put them back in again. Anyway, six... One... 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 Two... So this... We really need to shake this bad boy up. Ah, cha, cha 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 Looks good. There we go. Okay, that looks cool. I'd like to try that. Probably really sweet, though. Sir. Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with rights and such? Rights? Uh, no, no, no. You're thinking about the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with rights or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. H how so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe the suffering enemy attacks. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. 
What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal, are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at the doctor. I'm also kind of a firefighter in that. I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Uh, sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights though. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash, water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... Never mind. Wait, did I mishear you actually meaning size? I mean, sure. I've suffered through the deepest, longest, and most frustrated size of people after everything's said and done, but... <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Uh, don't worry too much about it. You finish your drink? Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something class. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Uh, don't make it too big. Does that work? Uh, sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. Uh, no problem. Don't worry, a classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Um, type? Yeah, there we go. Classy. Something small. She likes sweet stuff, too. Burning. Uh, it doesn't seem like something she'd want. That is strong as hell. She didn't want something strong last time. I don't know why that would change. <laughs> 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I, um, yeah, I'm thinking of Brantini, May On the rocks and this. <laughs> We're nothing but mammals after all. Sour classy and vintage, huh? No, I'm thinking Brantini. It's not on the rocks, but she didn't want something with ice this time, so... Let's try this. Three, four, five, six. Shake him up. What's there? Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Estella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I have others, but she's the one I've been knowing the longest. She likes the these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Huh? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, uh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill, huh? Jill. Jill is short for, uh, Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. Ju Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <laughs> okay, that apparently rubs her the wrong way. Uh Sorry about that. No, please excuse me, I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on... Don't, don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't want... And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That... Uh, actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? 
the small dog urine and soap. <laughs> of course. Obviously, that's our uh, only redeeming qualities, correct? Yeah. Of course. Anyway. My mom used to be a better veterinarian, so... Uh, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel uh, comfy and nostalgic. <sighs> it made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or something else. Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because something that happened while I was a kid. A uh, white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me, then this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic memory or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this way, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people, the same way they helped me. Huh, it's interesting though. I would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guided myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but y you get me. Yeah, I tried to do the same too. Why well, join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good reason. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault, just matters what you choose at character creation. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the pro they speed up process. Uh, but a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases on an unofficial co unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? Uh, I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? Oh, have something else. I remember some drink called, a uh, Martini? Brantini. I... I... Didn't I just make that for you? No, I'm pretty sure it's a Martini. It's a Brantini. Trust me, I'll get you one. She wants a Martini... <laughs> Sorry, a Brantini. I... I swear, I just... By type, classy... Yeah. Okay, you want another one? Was it that good? It was that good, wasn't it? it was so amazing that I have to make it again. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place. I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into, uh... Classier places? N not that this place isn't nice, but... Uh, don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. Uh, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. God damn it, Gil, what the hell are you doing back there? I know I said the place needed to be cleaner, but blowing the whole place up will not get rid of the dog piss smell. I'd better check that. I, uh, paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Oh, so it wasn't you, Gil. I, uh, just assumed you were blowing the place up uh, out of stress uh, that it still smelled like piss. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> Valhalla, am I dead? Yeah. The, most people would assume if they were there. And where, where are all the, uh, 
Does that mean Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? <laughs> Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know if death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did you get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you an organ- are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Well, why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... <laughs> really? You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! But you know what's worse than a rapist? Oh my god, a child! Oh man. That's all I... <laughs> That's all I can think about when uh, somebody brings that up. Oh, that video is amazing. You want to tear my clothes? Beat it unco beat me unconscious. Have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Wow, we're getting into some fantasies here. I mean, that just sounds like a whole lot of effort, to be honest. I don't know. And do you have to be unconscious? I mean, I'm just saying. All while still violating him. <laughs> wow, we're really getting in there, aren't we? Wow. All right. Oh man. All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching. Don't you? Murder, mur um. Uh, miss, are you uh, are you all right? This is um. Okay. She's, uh, that's more than just a panic attack. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can, uh, get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw in her face. And calm Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <sighs> Something that will calm her down. Maybe, um... Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. I don't know. I don't know what would exactly calm people down, but I'm thinking maybe like a nice looking, maybe a classic drink actually. <laughs> yeah, that would uh. Don't look like a fool. Could just get her a uh, the fedora. Like that would calm her down. Um. Uh. Yeah. I guess I'll just go with a girly drink. I don't know. Could just toss a beer her way, but I don't think that really calms the nerves for most people. Um. Let's go. What's that? Sleeping soundly? I don't think she wants to go back to sleep. Happy. I guess this will work. So let's pop two of those. It's aged. A powder delta. And... Probably not best to give her alcohol. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry. It's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rufies? TTX? Pumpkins? God no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I have to pay any, any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular, particular felony. They show themselves all proud for their hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses left, you'll find a convenience store. 
They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that D Dana Zane sent you. Huh. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. By the way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? Wait, what? What about it? Oh my god! Wait, what? How? Why? How? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? It's, it's a locker for toilet paper, apparently, and apparently something horrible happened in there. Oh, poor girl. Just scrubbing toilets. Scrub them like there's no tomorrow. I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk at the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second of all, we're pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Uh huh? And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Uh, no, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that important and that your work does matter. Um, not sure you just drink it all so fast. Uh, don't worry, it's not alcoholic. I made sure. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably have reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. Uh, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Considering an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, I made $3,210 tonight. I think I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm just saying, eh, you know, I mean, if money still holds its value. I mean, it's probably inflated quite a lot, but, I mean, I'm just saying, $3,000. $3,000, $3,000. Also, something tells you me you, you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, you ready for something with alcohol in it then? I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Huh. Wait a sec. Okay, so what if? What what's this? It's originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a piano woman if there's a piano man. Okay, that's sweet. Sour. Okay. Should I try to be an asshole and just make this instead? Which I'm already making it, so screw it. Just because I've already had to make a Piano Man today, so I might as well make something a little different, right? Why not? Two, three, and aged mix. Which is just that. Sir. Here. 
misgendered that pianist, though. <laughs> Don't tell me you're like my mom with her politics about what's for boys and what's for girls. That line of thinking led to her buying me an erotic cast-off figure when I was like five. <laughs> erotic cast-off figure? Basically, a really detailed sort of PVC statue with clothes you can take off. She bought it thinking, hey, just another doll. And then justified it by saying something like, well, you'll have to learn about your body sooner or later. And I still wish I had a cool... Oh no. I still wish I had Gloria Salma's body. I... I see. Who and what the hell is a Salma? So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Uh, call me Ken. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Um... No. Definitely not. I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his kid nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his freak wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. Uh, the worst part is I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about things. He wants that uh, he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got me a pizza delivery boy. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. What the hell? Damn. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. He's <laughs> like, uh. Excuse me, uh, one of our employees was delivering a pizza that there, it's been, it's been a week. Oh man, I wanna, I wanna get like a little snap over to that conversation, that sounds like that was amazing. Would you believe it? The guy became a de decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. I mean, I guess it matters the person and, you know, maybe the person teaching them how to do this shit. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing I have to work for him, it's, uh... Well, why are you working there, then? Mm. Did I ask something I shouldn't have? Uh, no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Uh, fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Uh, call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? Uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I gotta talk to these, just the most annoying people in the world. Right now, I'm serving this customer, and she just will not stop asking questions about me. It's hard being a cook anywhere. Oh, somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, all while answering the whimsy, the whimsy of uh, people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender. But, I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Uh, here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla did end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, and I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What, uh, what, with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's so cool and collected, but she has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's a bit tense at, uh, the last- she's been a bit tense these last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Huh. Sorry, I got carried away. Just want to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice for me to meet this boss of yours sometime, man. Thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh, no. I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. Uh, you can ask for another one, though. I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. Uh, one Brantini, please. Going right up. <laughs> she wants a Brantini. Sorry, a Mart- Uh, a Brantini. Yeah, that. We'll just go get a Brantini. I don't think she wants anything else. She asked for this one personally. Four, five, six, two, three, and just a little alcohol there. Uh, aged and mixer root. Pretty 
for your average smug asshole. I was, uh, I was reading the 8 out of 10 smug assholes again, and I got distracted. Oh, my bad. Alright, let's make that again and not get distracted this time. One. Next. It's too early. Wait, oh, I didn't age it. God damn it. This is what I get for not paying attention. One, two, three, one, age, mix. There we go. Here you go. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job like a lifetime, lifelong dream or something? Uh, not really. It just kind of happened. One thing led to another. Bam. Bartending. This is my life now. It's hell. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. I can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, the adult stuff needs to be paid for first. Yeah, unfortunately. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Uh, not really. Most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior... Oh, uh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, uh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell cleaning clinging to my body. Yeah, sure. Um, who was he? Don't worry about him. A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. <laughs> Why were you all <laughs> asking all those questions? Uh, because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil and, uh, where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank, and Kim woke up. She had a couple of drinks and then left. So she's called Kim. How'd she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but, uh, she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss. Do you feel like calling, uh, feel, feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? Huh? Not really, no. It's not like you to call you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you to Dave's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Yeah, give him something after that, at least. So. Total earnings. Drinks total. Tips, 750. Follow service bonus, 500. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down, 500. Okay. Your membership to Shining Finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about her holo plan. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay. You can now browse Danger U. Okay. So I can go on Reddit and I need to get a holo plan. Uh, 
how do I... Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? The ghost took my money. Yeah. I'm still alive. Let's shop. Oh, that's awesome. Well, anyway, uh, I would read through these right now, but I'm looking for this. She wants a hollow plant? You get a hollow plant. Yeah, I guess. If she wants a hollow plant. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself and will surely focus at work. Cool. There it is. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. Alright. Oh. Let's unlock her phone. And most important out of all these, let's save. What a successful day. Amazing, right? We are on day two officially. Holy crap. This game is amazing so far. I love it. <laughs>